what I like. Gotta do what you like. Hello, I went on vacation. We're okay. Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm gonna do another one of my quick reviews, or as quick as I can possibly make it. Today I'm reviewing the Tarte Brazilians Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Face and Body Self Tanner. This is my old one, and I just got this new Big Mama size. Tarte actually sent me this one. They were like, hey, you wanna try our self-tanner? And I was like, ha ha ha, already tried it. I got this one last year, and I'm almost done with it. I use like several different self-tanners. I'm kind of like a year-round self-tanner fiend, whatever. I love self-tanner, and I use it quite frequently, and this is one of my favorites. I'm still not done with this bottle, but I'm almost done and I was like, um, yes please, to the Big Mama size. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure where you can get this Big Mama size. I think it was available on some like special one-time crazy QVC thing. I don't really know how that kind of stuff works, but I can tell you for sure this smaller size lasts a long time too. So either way, it's the same product and I'm gonna tell you about it today. I've got pros, I've got cons, I've got a list somewhere. I found my list. We're okay. First off, what does the product say about itself? It says this revolutionary formula infused with pure maracuja oil delivers a healthy dose of vitamin C and essential fatty acids. Achieve a healthy faux glow while drenching your skin in pure moisture. Basically, this is a kind of gel formula. I'm not sure if you can really, really see that. I'll insert a picture, but it's definitely a thick kind of gel, but it's not as heavy as like a thick cream. I don't know if that matters to you, but the directions are to prep by exfoliating, duh, blah, blah, blah. Um, make sure the skin is dry before you apply it and then use the mitt that it comes with. And this mitt is just a little bit different than other mitts that I've used because it does have this little like lining inside and so I don't know I still use gloves when I apply it um, because I think like maybe a little bit of product could seep through here but it is plasticky on the inside and it's kind of cute right that's a little cute what can I say this doesn't stay pretty for very long because um yeah this is what it looks like after you use it for a while but I can say that it doesn't like completely wear out and like get crusty especially if you just use this self tanner with the mitt um, it actually holds up pretty well compared to other mitts that I've used. And the application is pretty simple. Like you just put a little bit of this onto a little bit of this and you go body part by body part and like rub in evenly. I like to do it before bed personally. I know some people like to put it on in the morning and they will like go out and wear the self tanner throughout the day. I think you certainly could do that with this product, but personally I like to just like put it on before bed and then go to sleep and then wake up in the morning and like rinse it off and you know have my color that's what I like you gotta do what you like now on to our very important pros and cons list let's start with pros why don't we first it has a color guard as you could see from the picture slash when I was opening it it is a dark color so you can see where you're putting it but it's not like super crazy dark I don't know it's not like you put that on and that's the exact color that you're gonna get once you wash it off and as it develops but I mean, pretty much any self tanner that doesn't have a color guard, you gotta kinda like proceed with caution. Unless it's a product that you're supposed to use like daily and it's supposed to very, very slowly work up to color. In that situation, it's a little safer. Next on my list is that it's moisturizing. Like I actually feel that my skin is more moisturized and it like feels better the day after I use this stuff. Next on the list, very important to the people that know about self tanners, the scent is great. Like when you're applying it, of course, a lot of times the self tanner will smell good. This one smells, I don't know, it's just like sweet. It's almost like cinnamony. I actually really, really, really love the scent. Whenever you're applying it, it smells delicious. As it develops, there is like a hint of that developer scent, but in my experience, it's one of the least offensive if you know what that self tanner smell is. It, it's not great. It's not pretty, it's not wonderful. And that's one of the reasons why I like to do it through the night rather than like wear it to work and stuff like that. Another really great thing is that it comes with the mitt and the mitt actually holds up. Sometimes they don't. And it kind of makes for like a really easy application. I have also not used the mitt and just used like gloved hands and that's worked for me as well. This product doesn't streak that much and the color once it develops 
is really, really natural. Um, I wouldn't say it's a gradual self tanner and it definitely doesn't say gradual on the bottle, but the way it goes on, you know, it's not like a crazy intense color the next day, but it looks more natural. It's not like, whoa, she got a spray tan yesterday or something like that. It's a nice, pretty color and it kind of comes up gradually. So you might want to do it like a couple of days out of the week or something like that. I kind of use it in conjunction with other ones since this one is like more moisturizing and like less of a like bam color in your face. But at the same time, if you're fair, it's going to be probably just the right amount of color. Obviously, color is going to look different on different people and you're going to perceive the results differently. I love what it does and I'm not like the fairest person in the world, but at the same time, I'm not the darkest. So it's kind of hard to say. Was that confusing? I felt confusing in that moment. On that note, it brings me to my cons. It is not like a, oh my gosh, I need a tan right now put it on and then the next day you're like, hello, I went on vacation. I wouldn't say it's as light as a gradual self tanner, but it's not like heavy in your face, like, whoa, you look crazy tan today. And you know, people are gonna like fall out of their chairs or something like that. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but it's kind of like, you have to know what you're looking for. This is definitely one that gives you natural color, but you might need to build it up. The second thing that is definitely not my favorite thing about this product is that since it is like kind of like a thicker gel, you do have to wait for it to set. Whenever you're using like spray products, they will like go on and set really quickly. But if you use a lotion or a gel product like this one, you have to wait for it to set. It says 10 minutes to really allow it to sink in before you put on clothes or like get in bed or whatever. I'm an impatient girl. So waiting any kind of 15 minutes or 10 minutes, not my favorite. So, I mean, that's probably not a big deal to most people, but it definitely went on my con list. I'm not sure if this quick review was all that quick, but I'm trying. The last time I did one of these, you guys said you really liked it, so I wanted to keep it up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, let me know. Leave me a comment down below if you have any comments or questions or whatever. I love hearing from you guys. You can also hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, everywhere. It's Leanne Says. I'm everywhere all the time. I know. You can also subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my new videos. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Oh hey, I'm prettier mysteriously. Does that make sense? And I don't, um, I don't know. Not gonna be like absolute garbage I'm spreading on my skin. Formula infused, infused, whatever. It's good when they match, you know how it is. I'm just doing the whole gradient thing and that's what that looks like. Now it's time to do some serious blending. This is a fluffy blending brush and